coaches meeting that he had to attend. So we're going to start off with uh, Mapimpi and Jan Hendrik. And then when Dwayne comes in, he can just slot in um, in his spot. So let's take a couple of questions. Uh, we'll start with Nathan. Hi, Zin. And it's fun. I'll just wait for his pause at the end for Magazole and then uh, one or two questions for Dwayne, but I will take a back seat for now. Thank you. Okay. Any other questions for now? Yeah. Jan? Thanks, Gina. Thank you. Um, Jan, I'll start with you. Uh, obviously, we know there's a risk of uh, when you win so far that the next week, maybe the guys ease off a bit. Are you guys doing anything specific to avoid, uh, let's for a lack of a better word, complacency? Um, I think there's, we obviously had a good win on the weekend and obviously talked about it and yeah, we're preparing ourselves with the same standards we, we went in with last week. So something like that wouldn't happen. Um, I don't think there's any complacency in the team. I know we know what the plan is and we know what the goal is and yeah, so I think we're ready for it. Um, yeah, so I think we just we would be working hard to put on the self, same performance as we did last weekend. Uh, guys, please raise your hands for questions. Lita. Thank you, Zee. Uh, Jan Hendrik, hi. Hi, Makazole. Uh, just for you, Jan Hendrik, please. Um, just that all-round forwards performance, um, how inspiring was that for, for you um, uh, as, as someone who observed them? Sorry, can you just repeat that question? I must have a middle part of it. How, how inspiring was the performance all round performance of the forwards, the scrums, the lineups, and, and then also the, the way they defended? Um, yeah, it was obviously a great performance. Um, I think there's a few things we can fix. Um, one or two lineups we missed. Um, but we obviously, we worked hard last week, the week prior to that. And yeah, um, I think just the hard work we showed in training and we really nailed down our detail. And yeah, I think we can be proud of the performance we put out there. Mubi. Hi, good afternoon. Thanks. I see Dwayne is arrived. Um, Dwayne, just a question for you. Um, Dwayne, last year you were involved as a player um, at the World Cup with the Springboks. Um, you know, I involved as a coach at the Springboks. What's the transition been like? And um, how have you gone so far as a coach, uh, in your opinion, so far? Thanks. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I think, I think it's... Uh, well, it's a, it's a easy transition if I have to say that because you're still part of the team. You know the guys, you know the players, um, you have worked with the coaches before, and um, I think it's it's nice to be in the mix and still learn from the coaches, um, just in a different angle. Um, that's that's one thing I I really enjoy, and um, yeah, it's you know obviously as a player I always looked at uh, at the game a little differently, um, always gave my little two cents if I if um, when needed so it's it's nice to to contribute in a way and hopefully you know you can keep on learning um, while you while you work with the guys while you work with the players and the more you're in the mix and the more you hear the the, the quicker you learn so it's been it's been a it's been a um, great journey so far and uh, yeah enjoying every every step of the way. Percy? Thank you so much, Zina. Zina, I would like to ask, um, good afternoon, gentlemen. Um, oh, rather good afternoon, good morning. Um, I would like to ask um, Dwayne some Afrikaans um, and, uh, at the end, but I just want to ask him an English question. Dwayne, as part of management now, can I ask you, usually coaches prefer uh, to go with consistency. Can we read in something, read into the fact that we've got two players sitting there? Is there any consideration to make some changes for this coming weekend in Perth, though, sir? And just your, your, your brief thoughts on how the match went in, in Brisbane this past weekend. Yeah, uh... Firstly, I think um, you know we we've we've got a we've got a big big squad that ball well, squad of thirty three players and obviously you want to use all thirty three because um, you know you you need the guys to stay on stay on top form and you need the guys to 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 perform when when there's an injury and uh, they need to have game time or have played a game so uh, there might be there might be a couple of changes so um, I don't know yet but. Uh, you know, you, you see these two guys here, so they 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 might might be in the mix. But um, 
you know, they, they you need you need game time, you need experience, and and hopefully we can, you know, the the coaching coaching staff and and, and Rossi um, would obviously make the the, the perfect, um, you know, or set set together the perfect team to, you know, to to um, to play on the weekend. So it's um, yeah, it's a it's a big one for us. Obviously, there's a lot of things that we can. Um, we can still work on. Um, we left a couple of a couple of tries out there, and, and um, so it's still not still not the perfect game for us. But hopefully, we can, you know, we can step it up and uh, yeah, bring some extra energy into into this uh, this coming weekend. Uh, Nathan, we'll take your question for uh, Dwayne. Uh, thank you very much, Z. Um, Dwayne, I just want to ask you, how would you define your role within SA Rugby slash the Springboks um, in the coaching setup? Well, uh, the role is actually it's um, well it, it was said as a as a Moby unit coach. So actually with Bafana and them, and um, yeah, I, I had the opportunity to work with the under twenties um, for maybe two weeks, and then uh, you know I think um, Rossi and them and the coaching staff at the Springboks decided to um, you know to to pull you in um, and to be the link probably between the. Between the coaches and the players, um, you know, being a water boy is not just being a water boy. There's a lot of info that goes um, goes through those mics and and communication from top to bottom, and obviously from the field up to the coaches. So, um, and I think that's a that's an easy link because um, I was a guy who, who who was on the field not even a year ago. So. It's it's nice to be that link, and I'm enjoying that um, that position. And yeah, we we will see where um, you know where it it'll take us um, uh, going into the future. Adam Gorsi. Thanks, Zina. Um, my question is uh, for for Dwayne. Dwayne, just looking at um, the past weekends, um, game, uh, just touching base with regards to the set pieces. You know, what from your perspective, watching from the side, uh, what was quite impressive in terms of um, the line outs and scrums, and also the guys' physicality and just their work on the breakdown. What was impressive, and what are some of the areas you want, um, you guys as, as the coaching staff want to see uh, improved on um, going through the weekend's game? I think there's there's some good things to take out of everything. Um, uh, all, all the stuff um, th that you mentioned. Uh, I think the uh, the the scrums. Let's start with the scrums. I think the scrums was uh, was was uh, really good. The guys performed well. We got a couple of a couple of penalties um, and and advantage from from those scrums. But obviously, this coming weekend might be an, um, an, a new challenge. Uh, I don't know if uh, if Tupo will 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 start for the Wallabies, and he's a He's an explosive player and a, and a really good rugby player, so he might bring a different challenge to to our scrumming pack. Um, I think if we look at the lineouts, uh, I think we uh, we kind of lost two lineouts, so uh, still not 100%. And you you always want to want to um, strive for that for that perfect lineout. And um, <clears throat> so yeah, a couple of things to work on. Obviously, some new things that. Um, that you guys saw and spectators saw and yeah, yeah um, you know we like we like to to look at the game differently and hopefully we can you know we can we can stick to our guns and 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 obviously you know achieve achieve something like that again. Um, if you look at uh, you know general plan breakdown, I think we we got penalised quite a lot um, on the defensive breakdown. Um, I think there was a five or six penalties for not rolling away and then a yellow card. So. I think that's one one area we we really need to sharpen up and we really need to work hard on, um, and that's been our focus um, um, going into this week. You know, um, you, uh, not to give away penalties, um, not to give away soft moments, and um, yeah, we're working hard with the Akupaiper, and obviously he's working hard, and we we're all working hard with the referees um, going into this 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 coming game, but. Yeah, obviously, like I said earlier, there's um, still a lot that we left out there, and hopefully, we can we can keep on improving. Uh, Francois, uh, Dantizi, I do a question for you. Just um, um, looking at uh, some of the 
Bankless, the Aussies are receiving from the from their media on that side. Uh, um, and and uh, just a comment on that uh, in particular, them saying it will probably be another walk in the park for you guys when you face them uh, uh, in Perth this weekend. Um, and obviously, uh, uh, it, it allows you guys to make those changes to the team uh, for the second test. Just your thoughts on that, on the Aussie media's backlash uh, on their own team. Yeah, well, I can't really comment on that because I don't read I don't read the Aussie media, um, <laughs> so uh, I have I have absolutely no comment on that. Yeah, uh, so we we just need to focus on our own game and what we need to do. So um, I, surely they they um, they in a difficult spot, but um, you know they they kind of come back harder and uh, we're definitely gonna gonna try to give their best performance out there. So uh, it's 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 going to be a difficult game. Nathan. Did you have another question or should we actually it's got to drop? Uh, yes, please again, Zina, if you don't mind. Okay, Nathan, go quickly. I uh, thank you very much again, Zina. Um uh, um Dwayne, I just want to ask, I'm not sure if you if you guys know, coincidentally the UFC is also having an event in Perth this weekend with a big fan of the of the swing marks at uh, Lickers we're fighting against I decided who resides in Australasia for the middle world, middleweight title. How good would a Drickus and Bok uh, win sound to close off a good weekend for South Africa? Well, you, you just said it right there. I think it would be um, it would be really good, um, you know, to top it off on. Uh, I think he's fighting on Sunday, so obviously to top it off like that, um, that'll be fantastic for South Africa. So um, obviously we're gonna we're gonna as a team we're gonna um, you know try to try to deliver our best our best performance and our best game, and obviously uh, and then it's up to Drickus. But um, yeah, well. First, focus on us, and then obviously after that, we'll we'll definitely be 100% behind him and uh, and support him all the way from from the spin box. Justin, thanks, Zina. Makazori, this one's for you. As Dwayne mentioned earlier, there are a big pool of players, um, coaches choosing different players in certain positions. For you, um, as a backline player with so many options available to the coach, do you prepare differently week in, week out, whether you are named in a starting lineup or in the squad or, or, or not included at all you know, in that, that match week team? Sorry, ask the question again. Sorry, just in terms of your preparation as a player, when you are included in the team or not, do you find yourself giving different in terms of your preparation or do you find it to just be the same way in which you prepare week in week out yeah i think we all do that with preparation for, for the week or the first so the, the, the three players we always focus on, on the game what the game's going to come on, on Saturday. one of the players we, we do that at the same time um we always try more special monday try to focus what we can do on uh, during the week and prepare for for the weekend uh let's go to john thanks hi guys um duane i just wanted to ask you in terms i think you touched on this earlier about the penalties for not rolling away we saw a lot of penalties in in both games in fact um in the all blacks argentina game as well um is there a, uh, was there a specific crackdown from the referees in terms of that uh going into the rugby championships um and um is there also an issue on uh sort of we seeing scrum ups also milking that and players holding players in um at the rucks um, on the wrong side um so what sort of work have you guys been putting in to to sort of get over that yeah just don't you fi don't find yourself on the wrong side of the rock um now i think <sighs> Obviously, it's it's a collision sport, and uh, some collisions you win and some you lose. And obviously, when you end up on the wrong side, uh, you need to get out of there as as, as quick as possible. So, um, at certain stages, we we, we kind of lost uh, the collision. Obviously, with some guys uh, making leg tackles, you you tend to end on the on the wrong side of of the tackle. But um, you know. If a nine's milking it or if he's not milking it, it comes down to 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 the ref. And um, if we're in the way, and 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 then um, he's definitely going to penalise the guy who's who's lying there on the on the other side of the ball. So, 
Um, uh, that's definitely, like I said, it's one one area we really need to focus on, and um, we've uh, we started focusing on it on this uh, on it today, and um, hopefully we can you know we can have a a, um, a different result on on Saturday, and uh, you know give the the referees better p pictures um, uh, during that game, and then yeah, obviously it'll make your life uh, a lot easier going forward. Later. Hello, Duane. Um, hope it's going good. Can can you just give us an update um, on on the injury situation with with the two five locks and then Bongi who came off early as well. Probably something different for you now as a coach, but do you have an update on that part, please? Um, yeah, I think that I think with Bongi coming off the field, it was only back spasms. Um, I think there was no no really big injury. I can. Um, uh, and then uh, Oji Snyman has, has got something with his with his foot, but that's just a little bit of stiffness. Um, and then, yeah, I think that's that's it. I don't think there's anyone anyone else. I, I will wait for Tino. Yeah, but it's, that's uh, th but that's that's what it was um, uh, that that we know of. But after that, yeah, obviously we'll we'll look, uh, wait for team announcement and and see what um, yeah how the team looks. Sorry, I'm um, uh, guys, um, as as Dwayne said, team is going to be announced tomorrow. I I don't think it's his place really to. I think it's up to the coaches more to to comment on injuries. So um, let's just wait for the team announcement tomorrow. Um, let's go to Atun Posi. Hi, Z. Can I ask him most? Is it uh, should I wait a bit? Uh, okay, you can wait till the end. Jan, is your question in English? Is Zina? Yep, you can go. To, when, to touch on uh, what you said earlier about supporting drinkers, are you guys making plans to go watch the fight and have a few Springbok banners up for him? <laughs> well, we still got a job to do. So um, you know, whatever happens after after our game, surely the uh, if 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 the guys think it'll be. It'll be a, a good idea to support Drikas. Then um, surely some of the guys will, will will probably do that. But I know there's um, there's a group of guys that are flying back um, earlier, and uh, so I, I I don't really know. <laughs> Ronaldo. Hey guys, um, Dwayne Ronaldo. Yeah, question for you quickly. Um, after looking at the weekend's um, stats, I could see that Elrich, Peter Steff, and Dixon's Stats were unbelievable compared to most of the other guys. So just a quick question on, on their performance. Are you guys happy with where they are in terms of, of kind of potential and where they are in the, in the squad at the moment? Yeah, I think so. Uh, obviously, Peter Sev has been, has been there for, for, for a number of years and, and, and you know what he can bring to the table. It's, it's, it's obviously nice to see... Um, Ben, Jason, Dixon, and and Aurich actually getting the opportunity to to start and play. I think it was Aurich's first start um, in in a box jersey. So it was it was great to see those guys, you know, uh, stepping up and lifting their hands and and say, listen, um, we we not just contenders, but we we guys that's knocking on the door. So um, you know, and that that builds the the depth and the character within the squad. So. It's nice to see that, and it's nice, um, um, you know, to see the guys compete for a for a jersey, for a position in the squad, and and obviously that makes that builds the builds the strength of the squad. So, obviously, if we if if that happens, um, you, you'll probably have um, two really good good teams, and uh, if you put them up up against one another, you never know who's going to win. So that's that's the position you want to be in. Uh, let's That's take nice the enough. last last English question from Robbie. Robin, sorry. Um, yes, yeah. Dwayne, uh, having seen the All Blacks lose to to Argentina, do you think you guys have a chance of finally winning the the rapid champion for the first time since 2019? Because they look at oh. so much work that has been done from from the from the the way they play against Argentina. Yeah, well, it's early days. It's it's the first game of the competition, and um, yeah, obviously, in New Zealand also tried a couple of couple of young guns, and uh, and it was a different squad to to who played in the Rugby World Cup final. Um, so, 
um, you know, they they will probably, you know, make a make a few changes, and then we'll have to wait and see. But um, you know, the past weekend put us in a in a good position to, you know, to 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 go forward into the next couple of games. So um, yeah, that's uh, obviously our goal. Um, but yeah, we have to take it one step at a time, and we can't look too far ahead. Okay, guys, let's switch over to is it Cosa and Afrikaans? Percy? Zina, baie dankie vir die gelente, Zina. Um, um, Dwayne, kan ek jou vir nog vraag, die eerste deel van my vraag is bykie tong in die kies, meneer. Kan ek jou vraag, um, het jylle enigs, enigsens al enigsens al enige klachtes aan wereld, Rikdo, ontvang met al die speciale toerkies die jylle uitgevoer het in jylle wedstrijd, meneer. Jylle het vooral geloof vir jylle lijn staan aan die begin van die wedstrijd, meneer. Het jylle enige enigsens klachtes ontvang van wereld, bykie vir, 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 vir die speciale bewegings en goeders. En toe weer is dit, hoe som jy die Navikse wedstrijd op, op en hoe sien jylle uit na wat gang die Navik gebeur in Perth, meneer? Perse, ek wil amper vir jou sê, hold my beer, en dan kyk jy wat kom. Um, maar nee, ek, uh, nee, ons het niks gehoor van, van wereldraak, nie, daar is geen klachtes nie, ek weet nie, daar is, uh, daar is seker een paar goed wat op sociale media getrend het, of wat ook al, dus kom ek sê, ek lees hier erg in nie, nie. Um, mens moet maar innoverend wees in hierdie game, so uh, uh, ek, ek denk, dit was, dit was iets, niets wat ons probeer het, en ja, gelukkig vir ons het het gewerk, um, maar ja, uh, ek bedoel, daar is dalk, daar is dalk nie wat goed wat kom, ons probeer, allemaal probeer maar altyd iets niet. Um, maar ja, dit is, ek, ek denk dit is, dit, dit was, dit was een vinnige plan wat ons probeer het. Um, ek denk ook dan die, die Nawekse games, wat ons, of se game wat ons speel het, denk ek, um, daar was, ek denk het was, in a way van die, van die toeskouwers oogpunt af, sekerlik baie succesvol, ek denk van ons as coaches, en dan ook van die spelers kant af, is wel definitief goed om aan te werk, so, uh, ek hoop ons, um, you know, ons het die hele week om, om, om daar aan te werk, en om paar koekies, jy weet, recht te maak, en, 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 en bykie te verander, en hoopelik kan ons, uh, um, uh, net so goed, of daar nog beter, uh, a beter performance gee, um, uh, die naweek wat kom. Ja, Okay, let, let's go to Kobus. Thanks, Zina. Um, Dwayne, ek wil graag aansluit met Persie's vraag um, oor die lijnstaan tricks en, en Cheslin, waar die bal door die scrum aangegooi het. Um, is, dit, is dit deel van die springmokkese strewe om innoverend te wees? Um, ek denk Rassie het al daaraan verwees dat dit wat verlede jaar gewerk het en in 2019 gewerk het, gaan nie met wendig van jaar werk nie. Is dit, is dit deel van van die, die doelwit of strewe om, om voor die rest te bly? Well, is, ek, ek, ek denk, op een manier is het dit, die ander ding is ook maar sêke, as jy uh, met 13 man op die tijd op die veld speel, dan gaan jou vleel so nou en dan in die lijn staan ingooi, of uh, dalk by een skram een uh, bal moet ingooi, of so iets, so ons moes ook maar aanpas by die game, en uh, per die keer doen jou eie, jou eie kwale haal jou in, en dan, uh, dan sit jy met 13 ouwens op die veld, en dan moet, dan, dan moet die manne maar opstep, maar gelukkig, jy weet, het, is al ouwens wat al daarom gelukkig uit posities gespeel het, en, en, en vir ons die werk kan doen, so, um, en dan miskien dalk dier sikke goedkies, leer een mens dalk nie goed van spelers, en ja, probeer al een bykie, bykie en hoeveel en wees. Uh, John, do you want to try your question now? I sorry, the, um, I didn't uh, put down my hand, but it's fine, thanks. Cool. Okay, excuse, thank you. Nathan? Uh, can I go, can I proceed with this post, Azina? Yes, you may. Okay, thank you. As Kali Bulusile puts in mind, before in the best about the Kamala, I will be able to get a part of the pick win. Hopes one of the other ones, I will be able to get a part of the pick win. But I will be able to get a part of the pick win. And he was able to be in the middle of the world. Oh, um, and the and and the corner the end of 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 the end 
decide, decide, and say which chance in the Kuban of was opinion in the Labour Supreme Court is set up. So, uh, and also, I think that thing by Nova Ufumani players as Nova and nobody in the Nova if you chase us at the free better to compete, and also. I think Nobuba next week is going to go and be called now. I think only this upon the fire was with me. So, one who I think in doing was the control and the other, but get a kosher bond by Bona and Nobuba now was by sitting in them. Atten Kosi Zina. I'm going to put my master in the input. I want to put my good talents when who care would take our travel as old to Anga. Ukbana Nina as a Kimbo, you know, not to well, you win a land the tournament for twenty nineteen and Nako and Afro since I was a Elo, the Winnie Lee World Cup, the British and Irish Line Series, a land of Bana, a desperation, you go win a Lanzega Lende Villain, Yablunyak, Yakana, and Apacuni, as a Kimbo, Casolo, John, a corn, Bana, Bako and Abatada, a Basa Sand, Rasta Lunyaka, Lunabaza, Amba, in Abam Nan Kanja, and Bana, the Winnie, the Lende. The, the, the tournament to I think in the, the most special good is the players and so the management on the line to the level is the Nakuya I think he 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 so I think what you like even on the land of Uba, it was win the land of the as much as we need and we turn it down. As one is teaching on Uba, I think by squad is said to see Kuru and Kuru and he plays as he is. But then I may think I play as a full as a coach. Percy? Dit is baie dankie, Zina. En nou Hendrik, soos die afrotter daar langs jou, ver langs jou sê, hulle wil nie nou soma reeds die kaart op die tafel neer sitte, maar so Rassie, en sy bestuurspan vir jou die rechtmerkie geef vir hierdie naweek meneer. Kan jylle, as die springbokspan net die naweek opdag daar in Perth, en verwacht om weer net 5 punte te kom collecteer daar tegen die Wallabies? Ek denk, as ons te verleende krijg, denk ek ons sal ons beste draag gee om die selfde te doen as wat die span vir die net, of die springbokgroep vir die net die naweek. Ek denk, mens gaan altijd in die wedstrijd in om te wen en en dan hier mis kyk te veel in 5 punte vast nie, ek denk mis wil eerstens ben, en as die game in jou gin speel, of as die game so uitspeel, dan probeer jy met 5 punte te kry, maar ja, ek denk as, as we ouwe in sy geleentheid kry die naweek, of as ek in sy geleentheid kry die naweek, sal ons ons beste gee om die wedstrijd te win. Kobus? Kies, prinsie, ons moet allemaal kans keer, Kobus? Denk Zina, Jan Hendrik, ek wonder so my, hoe beskou jy die eerste daar as jy een hakker wat ook aan stit speel, of een stit wat ook aan hakker speel? So slot wat stit en hakker kan speel. Ek het nou die dag in lijnstaan gespring ook, so ek weet nie rarig. Ach, ek geniet het om te speel, en ek werk dagelijks aan my ingooi, en ek werk dagelijks aan my scrums, Kous Daan help my, Kous Dion help my, Bongi, Malcolm, help my, Dwayne, help my, so, ek denk om al twee skerp te hou, is, waarop ek focus op die omlik, ek denk nie, ek is op een plek waar ek een kan besluit, of kan sê, ek wil die ene speel nie, so, ek denk ek werk al twee, werk hard aan al twee op die omlik, en, ja, ek denk ek in myself plaas in een positie en die ander uitsluit nie. Awesome, guys, unfortunately, that's all we have time for, the 